What is up YouTube, I'm Royal and I used to be rank 1 Wild Rift, so I definitely know how to climb and all the secrets to climbing. I've been high challenger in normal ranked, top 10 for multiple seasons, but I mostly played legendary queue when it came out, which felt more competitive. Which is where I got rank 1 and I sit on the hall of fame in legendary queue in the EU server. However, we all know that legendary queue is pretty much gone, no one plays it in both servers, I think it's only active in China. So in this video I'll be focusing on normal ranked and teaching you the secrets to climbing there. So for the secrets to make sense, I need to give you some context on how normal ranked works. Every win you get, you get a mark. Every loss, you lose a mark. Simple, right? Well, this is a very ineffective method of creating a ladder. In most competitive games, they use an ELO or MMR system which takes into account the enemy team's skill level compared to your team's skill level. If you beat a team that has higher elo than your team, you will get more points, and if you beat a team that has lower elo than you, you will get less points. So you get rewarded when you beat better players. With Wild Rift system, you can be playing versus players of way higher rank than you, and you will still be rewarded 1 mark for a win, and minus 1 mark for a loss. To try and compensate for that, Wild Rift matchmaking does its best to guarantee that the game will be as close to 50-50 as possible. The issue with that is that the better you play, the worse teammates Wild Rift will give you to make sure that the game is a 50-50 win chance for either team. This theory has been pretty much proven by the Inting Scion with a 80% plus win rate. His stats are awful and he gets good teams to make up for how bad he is. However, he's still extremely useful even though he has a 0.2 KDA because he takes down a bunch of turrets. And I guess Riot is just not very good at measuring the turret damage and they mostly measure his KDA and now their stats. So pretty much, the better you play, the worse teammates you will have relative to the enemy team. But if you play bad, your teammates will be better than the enemy team and hopefully carry you. If you want to learn more information about that sign, by the way, Darkbreaker has recently made a great video, you can check that out. So is the secret to int? No, that's not a secret. We first need to understand one more thing before you're ready to hear the secret for, to, for climbing in Wild Rift. What we need to understand is loss shields and fortitude points. Every game you play, you get some fortitude points. Once you have enough, you get a loss shield meaning that the next time you lose, it won't count as a loss. How do you get 40 dude points, you may ask? Well, Riot gives you a bunch for free when you play and through 40 dude cards. Lastly, the most concerning way you get 40 dude is to buy the pass. The pass, the pocket pass, gives you 40 dude cards, meaning that you can literally buy loss shields, so if you don't have the pass, like me, you're in a disadvantage compared to everyone else who has bought it. Now that we know all this, what is the secret? What should you do to climb in Wild Rift? Well, here it is. You need to play a lot and you need to play consistently. You need to be playing every day as many games as you can. This is truly the best way to climb. Go look in the rankings, go look at the ladder right now. You won't find a single player in Sovereign or Challenger that doesn't have around 500 or more games. This way you maximize your fortitude points and your loss shields. Make sure you're trying your best to win every game and play a lot. Obviously improving will help you climb, but someone with a 60% win rate and only 100 to 150 games will climb a lot slower than someone with 600 games and a 51% win rate. Because it doesn't matter how well you play, what really matters is how much you play so you can get one mark above everyone else. So if you really want to climb, get rid of that ranked anxiety, queue up and play 10 to 15 games a day and you will see your rank skyrocket, that's a promise from me.